How to install the Sutra CMS with Servoy. It's not your typical install. Um, if you're used to content management systems that are PHP based, and I guess I should turn my computer sound off before I get on this. <laughs> Sorry, that was probably me. Huh? That was me, actually. Um, yeah, screw it. That's all right. Continue along here. That was Troy Elliott, chief programmer here at Data Mosaic. And we'll just continue on. We're practicing this stuff anyway. So if you're new to Servoy and um, not familiar with things, this video is for you. If you've been around Servoy for a while, don't want to read the document, don't want to look at the README to install things, it's a short little video for you. So I put everything, let's go ahead and play this, into a directory here. You're going to need a Servoy installer, you need the browser suite installer, and you get that at servoyforge.net. And uh, we're using MySQL today, so the, the JDBC driver for that, of course, couple of the other files from the from the download and we're gonna this is the, also the complete package with the data sutra application platform and uh, so I'll come back to that in a bit I'm gonna pause for a second here let's just talk about databases and when you're installing Servoy you have this tick it's automatically ticked for you and that is the uh, uh, database and what that does is it installs Postgres in with Servoy and um, what it does though let me show you here is it actually installs it into the directory Servoy server directory and um, as a database directory so when you when you load up Servoy developer it starts an instance of Postgres uh, database server and then when you quit Servoy developer you're supposed to quit that instance of Postgres as well and it's just to make things easier for you and what I just showed you right there is if you're going to go that route, it's, it's just much better to have Postgres installed at, on your computer as a generic um, service. And over there on the right, I have it installed on my MacBook here. And uh, that would be more preferable um, than to use Servoy as an install. If you're, if you're comfortable with Servoy in its environments, that is. If you're not, go ahead and leave that on and hook into it later. Um, we also use MySQL a lot. Well, before we go there, it looks like I'm just showing you our P PG admin. And this is uh, just the application, the front end GUI that we would use to look at your um, databases. And you can use this for the Servoy, Postgres, or your standalone install. The standalone install I just like better. Um, I, guess I just can have it running all the time, not starting and stopping. MySQL is the same way, and you can tell from the amount of databases that I have here that MySQL is our preferred platform, has been for a while. But that's just because we did that for years and years, and now that Servoy is shipping with Postgres, we're very curious to, uh, to uh, check it out more. Now, just going through the install process of Servoy itself, it's an Eclipse uh, based or uh, plug into Eclipse, and so you're seeing a lot of Eclipse type stuff going on here. Everything's a file, so you have a workspace where everything gets saved to, and um, a very short uh, install for all the amount of data that's getting done there. The download's quite large. All right, so we're done with Servoy. And browser suite from Patrick Talbot at ServoyForge.net. Same easy installer, just one click, go. Uh, just make sure you choose the same directory you um, installed Servoy into. A lot of things that he put together to make the browser suite work, and that was the full list there. Um, just very impressive work, and I uh, can't say enough about this here. So, one click install. And the one thing you want to do is there is an uninstaller directory in the Servoy directory that has th that uninstaller in it. So, before you upgrade, Quite often, uh, the browser suite or servoy itself, I typically will uninstall browser suite and install it again. All right, so there's our new um, installation. Uh, what we're doing right now is we're putting the MySQL <coughs> driver over, and you can download load that from MySQL. We're also, since this is the combo installer with Data Sutra, we have our um, Sutra jar that's a plugin, and we're going to put that in. So make sure you include those. Then lastly. There is a web component, so go to the root directory of the server and copy over the Sutra CMS directory. Well, that's all the JSP files that go with the CMS. All right. Let's go ahead and start up 
servoy, and what we need to do now is import, import the dot servoy file, and that'll bring everything in. So I probably should scooch this along. Uh, the readme text file that's starting up. Go ahead and check out. We're going to be adding some database servers in next. So just highlighting the names that we need to do there. So that's a new new servoy install right there. All right, database servers. We need three. And we're going to go ahead and go to MySQL. Oops, I missed MySQL. I went to SQL Server. I'll notice that here in a second, I think, because things don't look very familiar. And yeah, sure enough, oh, this is not MySQL. I put that. All right, let's, let's chew up the MySQL one. Now, you'll notice that I did put in the JDBC driver. Um, when I said MySQL, you'll see an or get MySQL driver. That's not the one you want to use. You want to use the com MySQL JDBC driver. The org one is the only one that Servoy is allowed to actually uh, ship with Servoy. You have to, you know, MySQL wants you to download stuff from their site. Um, so I need a database, and so I'm going to set up three databases, each one, one for each of the three database connections that I need. And I'm going to give it some intelligent name here that I know that I'm going to trash later. And um, so this is one, we have Sutra, Sutra CMS, and Sutra Example. So Sutra CMS is first. Sutra just by itself and Sutra example, I think. I've done this a while. All right, and we're going to do the corresponding connections over in Servoy Developer now. Yeah, I got it right there. All right, so this one's going to be paste, and that's going to be Sutra. It goes with the name up there. I keep it in the names consistent. Now, instead of saying new. MySQL database. I'm going to go ahead and just duplicate this server and then just change the name and the database. So this is the Sutra CMS and let's just do it one more time. If you hit save and um, it has a, a red X by it, that means that the connection couldn't find your database. So you need to check the path to your database, make sure your database server is running, a number of things that could have happened that the server can't make the connection. All right, let's close all those down. Let's see what is next. I do believe it's probably importing the .servoy file. I'm looking for, yeah, it's this big long one there. This is with our frameworks. And so I finally, yeah, there we go, .servoy. So it's there. Go down to all solutions, and we're going to import this file. Import solution. And uh, it's going to take me a second to figure all this out. Doom, 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 doom. Hey, where's the dot servoy files in there somewhere? There we go. And we're going to go ahead and import, leave everything just default. Um, when it says, do you want to import sample data, say yes. You will definitely want to import sample data. If you don't, you'll have to import it again with sample data. So there it is. All right. That's all set up and done, I think, at some point here. I'm going to go check out to test things. Let's go back to our README. And there is a link that I put in there near the bottom. It says testing. We're going to go copy that and get ready to, to load this up in the browser. So when we're all done installing, load that in the browser and know it's working. All right. Let's see, just fast forwarding through some of the I quit Servoy after I imported and something that's from older Servoy versions. I think it's probably safe to just keep on going. But we do quit there. Restarted. Fast track things. Okay, let's check. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. That was the cache stuff right there. And if I'm re there, it is. All things looking good. All right, so it's working. Let's start up Smart Client now, and just show you real quickly what it'll look like over here. And make one quick change and change and okay, and call it a day. So this is Data Suture. I want to go ahead and say hey trial, and you want to check that box and say I agree, and boom. So that's not the CMS stuff. This is Data Sutra. And this is our application frameworks that has got a lot of big solutions running based on it worldwide. All right, go on in here. Let's go to a page. I'm not, I'll do another video to show you, give you a around the world tour of the CMS uh, for right now, just to follow along. I'm looking for a place maybe to edit. So let's see here, not there. How about the left column? So let's go to the left column, maybe that one. And now I'm gonna switch over to the real mode and this is the web browser in Servoid, thankfully, for due to Patrick's the browser suite. And we're going to go ahead and add a content block in here and just say something, I'm thinking what to say. Hit save. 
the thing about TinyMC, notice the buttons down there highlighted, so you have to save it. And you see that it's there. Now let's go check in the browser, see if that's there. Refresh, sure enough, that's how you install CMS.